Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course the law of attraction. Today I am doing a reading for a group of people in our beautiful collective here. Now do keep in mind that I channel many different messages and connections through these readings, so only take what resonates with you personally. Now, if you would like me to channel specifically for you and your situation, if you do click the subscribe button or make sure you are subscribed, this does help me to pick up more easily on your energy and the energy of your person and situation. Okay, so right away, the root chakra, the first chakra card in the upright position. And blossoming abundance uprights as well. So I'm getting that the number 35 may also be significant to someone listening, but do keep in mind that whenever I channel these specific messages, numbers, names, words, these typically only apply to very specific individuals. But right when I flipped over this card, I heard, I feel you slipping through my fingers and I want to offer you something stable. I want to offer you something real. I am getting a bit of desperation from this energy and I really feel like I'm picking up on a masculine here. So let's get some more information about the name Bill came out or something to do with bills if that resonates with someone. Also the word alive and I heard a masculine saying something about the connection with you feeling very much alive at this time. Even if there was a time, I keep getting this for you and this person like there was a time your connection seemed to be dormant. Now, don't get me wrong, reading into your energy, I feel that it's always been there because this is a very intense soul bond, whether it's a soulmate, a twin flame. I'll let you know if any of that comes up in the cards later, but I do feel that you and this person are so interconnected at the soul level that even before you met, you always had an awareness of one another. In fact, I have to tell you, I'm seeing someone with blonde hair, so that might connect with someone. Specifically, I'm seeing a man with straight blonde hair or like dirty blonde hair, but that will only be for a few people. I'm also getting brown eyes for someone, and I'm getting a person who I heard, since a little girl, I had these dreams about you. So there could be a feminine or a woman who is thinking about how she dreamt or daydreams. I'm, I'm hearing someone say, I always dreamt of or daydreamed of a love like this. Wow, okay, I'm getting chills all over. Oh my gosh, you guys. There is someone here who it's like, they dreamt about this love, meaning either literally they had dreams about this other person, daydreams, or simply like, this love was everything that they ever could have imagined wanting, but when they got it, it felt too good to be true or they rejected it. I don't know who this reading is for, and I know this won't be for everyone, but for someone here, there is this energy of, you were everything I ever wanted and I didn't believe that I deserved you or that I could keep you. I was always waiting for the other shoe to drop. I feel I could be channeling either a masculine or a feminine there and it won't be for everyone. I also have to say I'm picking up on someone who had this lack of worthiness derived from a relationship with a father figure. So there could have been some kind of father wound here where someone didn't ever feel, I'm hearing didn't feel like worthy of emotional validation from a father. So when this partner, this counterparts, this other soul came in and offered them, I'm hearing so much space, 
meaning held so much space for them and caused them to feel so secure and so validated. They were so accustomed to instability, to lack of validation emotionally, that it was really difficult for them to accept the gift of this love. I'm hearing pushed it away. So I feel that someone here, one or the other, or both at different points in time, because this could have been something that's been going on and there's kind of been a push and pull dynamic for a while for some of you, even years for some. Yeah, second chakra in the reverse position. I was afraid to be vulnerable with you, even though you caused me to feel so safe. I do have to say, I know that I tend to channel messages from a masculine, but I am getting some feminines coming through here. Some feminines coming through to say it's like there was a love that came in that was offered to them that they felt so safe and so secure within and so validated within that there was a part of them afraid, afraid of it being too good to be true, waiting for the other shoe to drop, whoever this is for. Yeah, with man holding a heart upright, I feel a masculine here who either at the present or at one point in time was very open-hearted, coming forward with an open heart, wanting to open up. I don't know who I'm channeling here. This is so interesting. I feel this is a connection that maybe new for me tapping into or at least a dynamic that I haven't specifically tapped into before so I do feel this will only be for a small group of people here interesting so what else is going on in this connection seventh chakra in the reverse position this is absolutely some form of soul connection I'm hearing we were meant to meet but we betrayed our own destiny this is so interesting so I'm picking up on two souls that share a very intense soul bonds, so much so that they were destined to meet in this lifetime. I hear someone say, we've shared lifetimes before and we were supposed to share this one too, but someone feels like they messed it up on some level. It's like our path somehow became separated in a way that was really unnatural to our souls because I just hear someone say, this isn't the way it was supposed to go. This isn't the way that our story was supposed to go. We didn't want it to go like this. Don't you remember? Don't you remember what we promised to each other? Wow, very intense message coming through. And I feel that could be coming from a masculine or a feminine here. So take it as it connects. I should have believed in you. You always had my best interests at heart. I couldn't handle my true feelings for you. So I kept you as a friend and nothing more. Once again, I am getting a lot of feminine energy from these two cards. A feminine I'm hearing who had trust issues or had difficulty fully believing in her own worthiness or her worthiness of this specific love. Loosen your grip, coping mechanisms, density, addiction, let the divine in. So I'm hearing that also this feminine may have wanted to be in control or may have gotten a sense of security from feeling in control and something about this love was something that she couldn't control it's like i hear her saying i couldn't and i can't control how i feel for you portal doors are opening you decide rewards wild card Okay, guys, this energy is so different. I do feel that I'm only speaking to a select group of people here, but I feel that this specific feminine who struggled with these trust issues, who may have really struggled to feel worthy of this connection, to fully accept this connection because of fear of it being too good to be true, even though it was everything she ever dreamt of. I feel that this feminine is being faced with some kind of a decision here because the masculine, 
I hear this masculine saying, you think it's too late, but it's not. It's never too late for you. I hear him calling you his truest love, his deepest soul connection. For some reason, I hear a masculine saying, you're my girl. So that might be significant to some feminine listening. I hear someone saying here, it's never too late. Fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. I feel like this masculine's higher self is telling this feminine, let go of your fears. And with perseverance, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. I'm hearing, don't put off a decision of the hearts of the soul. Make your heart's truest decision. Follow your heart's path wherever it leads you. Release your fears. I also feel this masculine saying, don't make a choice for yourself, feminine, that is coming from a space of fear. This masculine carries a very protective energy when it comes to you, feminine, because he doesn't want to see you making the wrong choices for yourself, making choices out of fear. I do keep feeling there's some feminine in this situation who is being faced with some kind of decision. And I feel that she is being pulled in two directions because this pull she's feeling is the fights between her heads and her hearts, between that part of her trying to understand why she is feeling the way she is feeling, why she is being pulled in a certain direction, and the part of her that wants to just go, that wants to just follow it, that wants to release all of those fears. Time has brought me clarity about us. I made the wrong choices. So there could be a masculine here also dealing with feelings of regrets. I'm hearing silent clarity. I'm coming to you with an offer. Will you say yes? When I offer you my hands, will you take it? This is so interesting because this is actually the exact card that came out in a previous reading as well. So one of my recent readings may resonate with you also, but I feel this masculine saying like, there's something about these two people potentially being too young to clearly see or act on their soul connection in the past. So let me know if that resonates with anyone, whether this was coming from this feminine's fears or from, I'm hearing a masculine here also may have been immature in the past. There may have been this kind of mutual soul or life immaturity in the past of your connection, but I feel this masculine saying, I'm hearing sudden but silent clarity. It's like this masculine has been having these realizations that you are the one feminine he's carried with him. I'm seeing a city. So someone here might live in a very urban area or in a very densely populated city or something along those lines. But I feel this masculine saying, We both may have made choices in the past that created this disconnect between us. Specifically, I see him taking responsibility in his own mind for choices he made that disconnected you. But there's this feeling of wanting to give it another chance, wanting to rewrite your story. It's like a feeling of something went very awry in this soul connection with seventh chakra reversed. It's like we are soul mates or twin flames or whatever this connection is it'll be different depending on who is listening but there's this feeling of we may have made choices i'm hearing choices were made based on free will because of course we have free will in this life that we're actually following the logic but against the hearts and this masculine is asking you feminine to release your need for things to be logical and to be open to I'm hearing to taking a leap of faith with him in some direction that is going to require you to make a decision from the hearts and also to release some of your fears. But I do have to tell you, okay, so finding out the truth crushed me and you came closer to anyone. I feel that finding out the truth, this could speak to 
For some, this could be a situation of betrayal, but for most, I feel that this is this masculine either seeing or sensing that you may be trying to move on to someone else or worrying that you are going to move on. I heard him saying, I saw you with someone else. So this could have been a picture or him hearing about you being with someone else. This won't be the case for everyone. But I feel this masculine saying with you came closer to anyone that you are my deepest and closest soul connection. Once again, I hear a masculine just calling you his girl for some reason, but I feel that this masculine is going to be the one to make some kind of a move here because that's another message from whoever, whoever I'm speaking to from your guides here. It's like they're saying, they're saying something along the lines of this masculine is going to be the one to move. So there's nothing drastic you have to do here. I'm hearing your heart will know the right decision when the time is right. Because I see this masculine like literally moving forward physically, meaning like in the physical world, somehow with some form of communication or some kind of offer or something along those lines. And you're really being asked feminine to clear your energy, to be prepared for this and to be, to bring an open heart and mind and be willing to really listen to your intuition and to your heart here, wherever that's leading you and to really have the courage to follow your hearts wherever that takes you. Now, I do want to pull a few more cards from the Lover's Oracle, but before I do, I do want to let you know that because I do sense that for some of you, this is a twin flame or a very high level soulmate connection. Of course, only you can know for sure, but regardless, I have created a twin flame seven chakra clearing subliminal to assist you in clearing any blocks to unconditional love within yourself or between you and this person to really allow you to receive more clarity on the best path forward to you by releasing these limiting programs around love and connection that do become stored in the subconscious and therefore in our energy field as well. So this subliminal comes from my website soundandsoulful.com and as you can see on the screen on this website, I have created over 100 subliminals for all areas of life. So I have subliminals for physical appearance changes, for mood shifts like confidence and happiness, for love and relationships, for money and manifestation for twin flames and for so much more and when you create a free trial account on my website you can access any of these subliminals and you can also create your own custom private playlists and again all of the information on that is in the pinned comments and description box but for now let's see what else this masculine wants to say So what else does this masculine want to say here? Thinking of you and specifically with this card, I hear a masculine saying, feminine, it's not just you thinking of me. I am thinking of you too. In fact, that is why you are thinking so much of me, regardless of those thoughts in your head that may tell you at times that you're just going crazy or making this up. You're not. You are more intuitive than you realize, and you are sensing me thinking of you. That's what I hear this masculine's higher self saying. Door to value in the reverse and walking away in the reverse. I feel this masculine saying there's a part of me that feels as though the door between us has been shut forever, but I want to rewrite that story, our story, turn it into a fairy tale, into a love story, because with door to value reversed, I'm realizing that nothing in my life matters in the way that you do. You are the most valuable thing to me and the most valuable connection that I've ever met. I don't care about the rest. With indecision reversed, I feel this speaking to this masculine shift into decisiveness, but also calling the feminine here to make a decision as well. And I feel this very strong, unconditional love from this masculine that says, I truly just want you to be happy feminine and I want you to go to 
whatever makes you feel the happiest, whatever that decision of your heart is. But because I also feel protective of you, I want that to be the right decision for you, whatever that is. So what is one final message from this masculine, from the shoebox messages? Wow, okay, something is very difficult for this masculine to say right now because we got both it's hard to say, but also this is hard for me, and watching from a distance forgets. So I see this masculine trying to forget you, but being unable to. I see a masculine almost like trying to... Uh, for some, they may have literally blocked you or deleted your number. That won't be for everyone. For others, they may have deleted apps where you might be connected, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever the case is. In an attempt, I'm hearing a futile attempt to forget you because it doesn't work. Yeah, social media came up here. So you may be connected with this person through social media, but more importantly, you are connected in the astral realm through dreams, dreaming of you with acting. I feel like this person has been acting to people around them as though they've been forgetting you or trying to forget you, but the truth couldn't be more opposite because really I feel this person working up the courage. This masculine is working up the courage to ask you. I have to say like, it's literally like, will you be willing to rewrite our story? That's what I'm getting from this masculine. I'm going back to this card. I'm coming to you with an offer. Will you say yes when I offer you my hands? Will you take it? So that's what I'm getting very strongly from this masculine. A lot of intense energy is coming through. So be sure to care for yourself, clear your energy in whatever way feels good for you. And if that does involve meditation, then I will leave the link to my twin flame seven chakra clearing for you to try out, to incorporate, to really clear out your own energy field, as well as the energy between you and this person. And again, that is linked in the pinned comment comments and description box. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day and I will talk to you again in the next reading.